All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, we're gonna be doing a little vlog here today. I kind of wanted to go over some of the things that were changing on the channel and kind of uh, just some additional context of that and kind of what to expect from the channel going forward, um, as well as just some life stuff. This is something I, I'm gonna try to aim to do once a month, once every other month kind of thing. Um, and this is a good forum for questions and feedback that don't really aren't applicable to like when I post stuff on playthroughs. So this kind of a way I can, we can have a conversation. So um, the first thing that we're going to notice here is that I look probably very different than the last time I was on camera where you saw my face. The TLDR with that is that um, back in March I was diagnosed with diabetes, type 2 diabetes. Uh, I don't need insulin or anything like that. But it's a big wake up call for me. Uh, it's in my it's in my family so it was something i thought was going to happen um but i thought i just had some more time to deal with it um with that all being said uh, i made a lot of changes uh and i'm managing it all so far all i mean i did take some medicine but I've, i'm off the meds and i'm managing all through diet at the moment and that's going to be the goal um what that means for you guys is not a whole lot aside from i do feel better about myself i better about having more energy and that's helped me feel better about making videos. There were a few times uh, I know through last year I'd make a community post a little short notice saying, "Hey, there's no video this week. Somebody wasn't feeling it, or I was busy, or something." You know, I I'm gonna do my best to avoid that going forward. I think um, just because you know I can record these videos and then schedule them, and you guys can watch them. I mean, that's it's not a huge deal. It really isn't. Um, but because I feel better, I feel more energetic. I don't feel less down about doing it. So, you know, there. Hopefully, that comes across in my playthroughs and things like that. I do my best to give the same enthusiasm. It doesn't always work out, you know, depending on what's going on. Works very much a lot for me. So, I do my best to balance all these things out. Um, but that's so part of this is attributed to the fact that you guys have seen so much content out of me. Now, I've talked about it in other videos, but we can kind of just get into the thing here. And, and I know I've asked you guys these questions, um, but I've been playing Marvel Legendary probably since... I played it maybe in the fall of 2017, but I decided when I figured out this is like a one-player game, <laughs> can be played one player, um, and there wasn't a lot of modification to the rules, because that's kind of a bummer. Now, you know, you don't want to play a game that's like very different if you're playing it solo versus multiplayer. Uh, when I figured that out, I got the game. Uh, like I bought it myself for Christmas around de December of 2017, and February was when Champions came out, and that was the first brand new expansion that I was experienced. I had bought a bunch of stuff in between from then to then, and I think wasn't shortly after that, probably the f spring, I had everything. So in less than six months, all of it, bought everything, except I didn't have the villains core set, but I had everything else. Love the game. Probably played it 600, 700 times. Played it a lot. And then, so I've only played, that was the only thing I played. It was just Marvel Legendary. And obviously, there wasn't a lot of, there was like the Dice Tower and all that stuff, doing reviews of stuff. But I was like, this game has so many cool combinations. Why don't we start doing playthroughs? And I don't know if I'm the first person to consistently do playthroughs, but I was one of the first people. And so and now there are more people doing it, which is awesome. And people are doing like two-handed stuff and solo and multi and all that stuff. And it's great. We've got a lot of stuff. It's cool. Um, more of that. So it's a great game. Uh, I would at some point be okay with them stopping making stuff because <laughs> there's just so much content. But, you know, it is what it is. I'll, if they make it, I'll, I'll buy it. So for a long time, I played that. I liked Legendary, and I looked up uh, Alien, and I'm like, this is great, and I really like that in a very, very different way. I think Alien's got the perfect amount of content. There's a ton of characters to use. There's a lot of change-arounds and the way the decks are set up, and it's really good, and I like Alien a lot. The rest of them, I was kind of, you know, I was, you know, X-Files, cool, whatever. I didn't end Firefly. I wasn't into some of the other stuff. So for a long time, that's what I had. It was Alien, and it was Marvel. And then sometime in the beginning of 22, I don't remember what prompted it. It might have been, I was looking, I think I was looking at Marvel Champions 
but being an LCG and I know how I am with Legendary, I was like, I can't. There's no way for me to buy all this stuff because I'll have to buy it all, and I can't do that. So I think I ran across Sentence of the Multiverse, and they were doing the Definitive Edition, and I'm like, oh, well, that's cool. So it's a superhero-themed card game that is like all the decks are pre-constructed. You're just, this is it. And so I'm like, okay, well, this is cool. Let me get this. So I pre-ordered the Definitive Edition for Sentinels of the Multiverse. And then I'm like, well, there are other games. And so I started going down this rabbit hole about other games, and I got like one deck dungeon, I got Set of Watch, and the next thing you know, I'm just getting stuff. And I was going to do playthroughs for Sentinels. Uh, I ended up not liking it to the way that I was hoping. I don't like managing three decks. I don't like, I don't, that's three-handing solo. I don't, I want true solo when I'm playing a game. So, and if the two, two, if the true solo, the solo version of a game involves like two characters, as long as there's not two separate decks and two separate hands, I'm fine. I can manage two individual characters. But anyway, I'll, that you'll see that in some playthrough of something at some point, I'm sure. So, I got down this rabbit hole, started getting games. I probably own 80-ish games now. There's a ton of games down here. There's this shelf, and then I'm filling out that shelf behind me with stuff. And so, you know, I play other games. And I've played Legendary so much that while I do enjoy the game, and there's been a like just a rush of content the past three years, I have a I like other stuff. I've learned how much I like Euro games, and I learned how much I like, you know, playing with dice and all this other stuff. So, all that being said. That's the genesis of the Solo Sunday stuff. I know in the past I've tried to do other solo videos, and I still need to structure this a bit better, but my idea for Solo Sunday is that every Sunday I want to introduce a new game to the channel as a solo game. Uh, you guys watch my content because it's a true solo Marvel Legendary. I'm assuming that means you guys play them solo, which means you play other games too, or you, you do, you'd play other games solo if you don't play another game. I think you guys, a lot of you guys play other games too. So... Um, the idea of Solo Sunday was let's do more videos, um, and they're supplementary. This channel is always Marvel Legendary. That's the f primary focus. It will be until I don't know when, until they stop making stuff and you guys stop watching my stuff. But that's the primary focus of the channel. Um, every once a week, every Friday, that's the ten that's the day we've been doing it. So every Friday there will be a playthrough. Obviously, when new sets come out, we'll cover the sets. We'll unbox them. We'll you know do all that fun stuff. But as it is now, the guarantee of every week, you get one video at least for, for, for sure, and that's a legendary playthrough on Friday. Solo Sunday stuff. My goal is, like I said, to introduce a game to the channel that I haven't done. That'll be the Solo Sunday. And then Tuesday, I want to play do a playthrough of a game that I've already featured on the channel. That'll be where the other legendary games come in, as well as... Um, other stuff. So like Astronauts, for instance. I love Astronauts a lot. I wanted to get into Aeon's End. I was like, there's too much stuff. Learn about Astronauts. That's it. I'm getting into it. And then when I got Astronauts, I'm like, this is awesome. I, I think I even did the introduction. Like I did the first villain. But I, you know, so, but that's the thing where like, if I want to do a second playthrough of Astronauts, a third playthrough of Astronauts, go through more in depth on some of these things. That's what the Tuesday slot is for. So, and then, um, you know, I accidentally released two videos yesterday. You've seen this on Monday. It was yesterday. It was Sunday. The Verdant solo playthrough and then the Viscounts of the West Kingdom. The Viscounts is meant to be next next week, so I pulled it down. And, yeah, anyway, but that's a game that I'm like. There's so many different that you can play against different AIs, so it's a very different gaming experience. I want to be able to do that stuff. So that's what the Tuesday spot is for. Um, so that's my goal. Solo Sunday. I will probably use as the introductory of the game. That'll be a playlist. The first time I play the game on the channel will be on the Solo Sunday. And then Tuesday will just be, I don't know what I'm going to call it, but Tuesday will just be playthroughs of the games that aren't legendary, and then Friday is going to be legendary. That's the plan for the foreseeable future. My goal is to for sure do Friday, 80% do Sunday, and then like 50% do Tuesday. I've got to record some stuff for other games, but, you know, at the very least, there should be some new games coming out. And I'll do some special stuff here and there. Um, if you can see behind me right here, oh, my head's right there. Those are the Oniverse games. 
uh, I'm already starting some fun stuff with those, so I'll do long like several videos, and I'll release those whenever though those won't be part of like. I want to do a bunch of stuff with those, and if they run into Friday, you're still getting Legendary Friday. That's always happening. Anything that happens that hits a Friday is extra. So, more to come, but basically that's my whole deal. Um, the other thing, too, is I really want to do up above them, if you can see, oh, I can do this again. If you see what this is, if you can read it, that's Final Girl, and all behind it is Final Girl Series 1 and 2. Final Girl, something that I want to do with the channel in a capacity similar to Legendary. Again, it won't be the same where I'm doing all the stuff for it, but I'd like to do a weekly or bi-weekly thing of Final Girl. I'm just not very good at it, but <laughs> it's just there's a game where there's so much combinations of stuff that you could have just the craziest time. So that's going to be something that I'm trying to... I need to get better at the game, but that's something I want to do. And then on this Prime Day here, I got Spirit Island. And holy crap, Spirit Island's amazing. I've got Spirit Island. I've got the expansions all ordered and waiting for them to get here. Um, and th the next expansion is getting ready to come out. It's just hit. It just came like I think people that backed it on crowdfunding are getting their copies. And that's another game. There's so much content, uh, so many cool combinations of stuff. And so when I get better at that game too, although I won a couple times, but as I'm getting more comfortable with the game, start introducing some more of the more complicated stuff. That's something that I want to do on the channel more frequently as well. But we're kind of a little bit away from that. So, all that being said, Legendary is still happening. Um, Solo Sunday is for new games to the channel, and I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm going to do. And I'll likely, and then Tuesday will be for um, when I do a f another playthrough of a game we've already covered. And that'll just be, and I'll make a playlist for those games. Solo Sunday will have its playlist of the first time, and then I'll have a play playlist of Viscounts of the West Kingdom, or Verdant, Verdant or... Calico or Astronites, whatever, and you can go check those out. And I know that those videos aren't for everybody. Um, I appreciate anybody who watches them. They're for me. This, all of this is for me. I mean, truly, if I didn't want to do this, I wouldn't be doing it. So, you know, if five people watch a video, it's fine. It's for me. It's for somebody stumbling across it later and down the road. But the fact that you guys are watching those videos, um, it, it means a lot because it means that you guys find those interesting too. So, with all that being said, I did want to use this time to kind of go over some of the legendary uh, news that we're seeing. So I'm going to kind of just change my screen here. And I was perusing. Well, we knew this was coming. This is the James Bond expansion. Um, and this is for the new movie. I say new. It's the Daniel Craig one, the, 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 the most recent one. So I'm excited for this. Game Nerds has it sold out. But it looks like this, they have a tentative date of August. I'm hoping that Upper Deck sends this to me. Please send this to me. If not, I guess I'll buy it. But I'm hoping they send it to me. Um, but yeah, uh, I need to do... I'll probably do a couple more of these playthroughs at the beginning of August just because I like this a lot. Bond is great. I'm not a big James Bond person in general, but mechanically speaking, it's the perfect marriage between Standard Legendary and Encounters. I just... It's great. It's so good. If you haven't played Bond, you got to get on Bond. It's great. The other big thing that we're seeing is going to be this, which is... And I'm on, I'm on Game Nerds just because it's all right here. They all have a pre pre-order. This is supposed to be coming out, I think, around Gen Con, which is the first week of August. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this. I like the artwork a lot. Um, this is the three Matrix movies, so it's the trilogy. So we'll probably have a first, second, and third like scenario. Is there called scenarios? The first, the second, and third for each movie, so that's nine. And then if they do, I guess they could do expansion for Matrix 4. I don't know. So there should be a decent amount of stuff in here. Um, I think just based off of this, what is on here? I mean, we've got Morpheus, Trinity, Niobe, Neo. I mean, there's probably going to be like 10 to 12 heroes. There's going to be... There's standees. What? Standees and token... Well, that'll be interesting. So anyway... Um, I haven't looked at anything of it. I'm, I'm sure Upper Deck has shared some stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I don't like spoilers, so I would be, I'm, I'm better about just opening up and discovering at the moment. I mean, I'll, if it's in front of me, I'll look at it, but this kind of stuff. But 
I'm going in pretty blind. So I'm hoping Upper Deck sends this to me as well. If not, we'll cut. We'll cover it at some point. But this is something I'm looking forward to. I'm hoping the Alien set is so great because it's got as of it's right now. It's got the main box. It's got a big expansion. I say big. It's like a 300 card expansion maybe, and it's got a small like 100 card expansion or whatever. And it's just that in itself is plenty of content. It's great. Predator doesn't have a lot for solo playthrough because when you play the Predators, you're just basically getting points. I need to figure if there's a there are some cards to integrate Predator with Alien, and maybe I'll do that at some point. I don't know if I have the cards or what what it entails to have, or I can just throw those characters in there and play the whole thing that way. That may be the way it goes. Um. But I don't like mixing with the terminology changes. It just I don't like that as much. So I don't know. So I'm hoping there's a lot of stuff here to make it not as like I would like there to be if they did like one expansion and then to round everything out, it'd be great. So I don't know. I don't know what's in here, but I'm looking forward to it. Maybe when it releases, I'll look more into to see what's going on with it. But anyway, this is coming soon. Um, obviously, the next oh we're going to look at that one last. The next thing is this, which is. This is slated for January of next year, which is right after my birthday. Um, so I think this is the next Marvel Legendary expansion we're getting. This popped up. I actually saw this on Game Nerds before anything else. And um, I've been wanting 2099 forever, mainly because I want Spider-Man 2099. I've wanted Spider-Man 29 since I've had Spider-Man characters in this game. So I wanted 2099. 34th expansion. Are they going to stop at 40? Are they gonna st what are they going to do? Anyway... <laughs> So what's cool is that we get Doctor Doom as a hero, which is great. We get Ghost Rider. We get Spider-Man 2099. Um, I'm going to sneeze. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to sneeze. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Obviously, Instant Cop. We're going to get this immediately. But, yeah, this will be fun. Um, I think the other expansions we know that are coming are an Eternals one eventually. And... Is that it? I don't know. I I would be interested to see if there is an eventual stop. I mean, there's like an endless supply of characters, and we have so many vari variations of characters that I don't see why they would stop, but it would just be at some point, because this container I have for con my cards, I can hold a lot more, but at some point it's going to run out. So <laughs> we're going to need something. Um, but yeah course we'll do everything for this when it, when it releases and i think i think somebody said on one of the facebook groups that upper deck's main focus is uh matrix so and i think it they pre they they kind of tease it at gen con last year so it's been a full year maybe that's why i have gen con in my head but it's been basically a full year of us knowing that matrix was coming before it's coming so once they get past that then maybe we'll look into uh more marvel but anyway Excited for this. The one that caught me really off guard was this. Saw this uh, a couple days ago. And this is a core set. So this is, you can get this game and just play it as is, which is pretty crazy to me. So this will be interesting. And of course, this is a cop too because new heroes. Now, I don't think they're going to be, I don't think they're going to be the way they did the MCU set where they took those heroes and then just made them like you have Black Widow, she functions the same as a regular core set, but it's it's Scarlett Johansson or or Robert Downey Jr. Had that MCU core set had different effects for all the cards, I would have bought it. That was the only thing that stopped me from getting it. So, I have pretty good confidence, given that they did the the Infinity Saga set, they did the Guardians of the Galaxy set. Have they done any other MCU sets? I don't think so. The Spider-Man one, but I'm not really counting that one because that was before they started doing this. Did they do anything else? I can't remember. Anyway, those sets introduce new mechanics, new cards, new all kinds of stuff, new new characters. I like, I mean, I don't like the big logo on the front, but I do like mechanically. And the screenshots don't bother me as much as it bothers some people, but as long as it does this. Oh, yeah, this new keywords. This is, yeah, this is all new. New dot bystanders, new keywords, and... What's great about this is that, um, what was that? Answer? Oh, it'll be cartoons. Like it'll be all the what if animated stuff. So it's going to blend better with the comic stuff. I think the big logo on the front is going to be a pain in the butt, but 
the rest of it, it'll be great. So we have eight heroes. We have Captain Carter, T'Challa, Star-Lord, Party Thor. That's three. We probably have the um, Wasteland. This is my guess for the other five. We probably have the Wasteland. What's it called? Wasteland uh, Black Widow. The one that in the episode with uh, the Zola out computer where it's like post-apocalyptic. The one that... She, does she get brought into... I can't remember if she gets like... I don't know. Anyway, we've got that one. That's one character I think we're getting. We're going to get um, the Doctor Strange character, of course, because they had a whole episode dedicated to him. We're going to get... I wonder if we'll get the Gamora, like the Thanos Gamora, and the and the Tony that's got the Hulk Buster, or the Sakar Buster. The episode, from the episode that we didn't get from this season. What other episodes were there? Um, I can't remember. That's probably, and then there's one more. There's got to be one more. What were the what if episodes? Now I got to do what if Marvel. Oh, we're gonna get a Watu. I bet we'll get in the Watu. We've got to get a Watcher. So we'll get Captain Carter. We'll get T'Challa, Star Lord. I wonder if we'll get a, a Hank Pym that's killing people. <laughs> um, this Doctor Strange. Oh, we could get zombies. We get Spider-Man Zombie Hunter. I want that guy. I want his, I want that. I want Spider-Man Zombie Hunter. I want... Uh, yes. Okay. Anyway. That's that. We have four masterminds. We're getting Killmonger, probably. We're getting... Um, uh, Infinity Ultron. Maybe we'll get like Zombie Scarlet Witch or something. I don't know. Maybe Hank Pym that's a serial killer. I don't know. That that might be it. We're getting a zombie villain group for sure though. We've got to be. But we're getting henchmen. Um, four schemes. Five bystanders. I guess this is five special bystanders. I don't know. We have new keywords. Um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to this. It's. I'm assuming it's set up to be one to five still. I'm assuming it's set up to be... Uh, I can't spell. It's set up to be 1 to 5. Yeah, this, I mean, BGG says 1 to 5. So, um, I wonder what the shield officers and shield agents look, look like. I may replace them, or we may just throw them in the mix and have, like, uh, those sometimes. So, I don't know. We'll see. Looking forward to this a lot. This will be a lot of fun. Um, uh, but, yeah. This will be a this will be an instant cop. Too. We're getting in a lot too. We got to right. Um, anyway, so to close out this vlog for the month, uh, I wanted to kind of go over my top favorite games. Just there's no particular order of these. These are just the five games come to my mind that I really really love that aren't Marvel Legendary, and there are aspects about them, some of them that I really enjoy that I think if you play Legendary and you haven't played these games, maybe you like them too. So I'm gonna go over those real quick. And oh, that's my background. And let's pop this up. So the first game here is Tekenu. Oh, it didn't come over. It's Tekenu. Um, Obelisk of the Sun. This is this is like Euro game. Uh, this has nothing. This has no mechanics similar to Legendary in any kind of way. I just really enjoy it. I like the idea of having a fixed amount of turns. You have 16 turns. Uh, it's a really great solo uh, opponent. Um, and I love this game. So I'll actually do a playthrough of this at some point. Because I love Euro games a lot. But I like the idea that like you have 16 turns. You got to do this. And and if you don't get it all done. And you, and you just at the beginning of the game you're like what the heck am I done? And then by the end of it you're like I did a lot. So it's really great. Love this game. You'll see a playthrough of this at some point. But this is one of my favorite games. Um, the next one will be. Well you saw Dude Imperium. <laughs> Dude Imperium. This is a deck building game. This game is incredible. I love this game so, 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 so much. Um, there's been, I mean, it's the seventh overall best game on, or eighth best game in a BGG overall. This is incredible. I love this game so much. Great solo opponent, opponents. Um, and there's deck building and there's worker placement, which I love worker placement games, but this is a great solo game. It's amazing. I truly, truly love it. Um, 
actually need a little preview of what I liked here because I've got recently viewed. Uh, but yeah, Dune Imperium, you'll see some stuff soon on that. The, the biggest apprehension of p making some playthroughs for some of these games is that I haven't had like an adequate, my arm that I had to record videos was too short, but I got a new one. It actually sits up much, much higher. So I can cover more stuff on the table. Uh, we're going to see some Dune Imperium probably next month. We'll do some Dune Imperium. Great game. Another game with a lot of variability as well because you have so many heroes, characters you can play as. And then they're, um, yeah, it's just great. And the exp both expansions is great. Uh, the next game is going to be Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. The great thing about this game, and I've done a playthrough of this before, but I'll be doing some stuff of it because I've got the Crisis expansion, and the Crisis creates a different kind of, it's a different game within the game, which is awesome. Um, but this is engine building, which is the part about Legendary that I love so much, is that when you get your cards and they're functioning, you know, and it's kind of, it's pretty straightforward in Legendary because you're like, all right, I'm drawing my deck every turn. This is kind of to that same effect of like, I have this thing and I'm making it as efficient as possible. It also kind of bleeds into why, like the Kenner thing for the solo mode, because for solo you have 25 turns to terraform Mars. And if you can do that, you win. And then you can score yourself. But I just like the idea of every, you're like trying to build up this efficiency puzzle. And then by the end, like the last round, you're just like cranking out like 45 money every other thing and you're and it's just it's awesome i it's really great it's very cheap it's like it less it's like less than thirty dollars it's a really great game plays one to four and then i kickstarted the expansion and the one of the expansions puts it up to six the other expansion adds some like cool upgrades to some of the cards and then the other expansions crisis which creates it a fully cooperative mode um that you're like maintaining mars as it's getting hit by disasters excuse me so, awesome game. Again, these aren't in particular order, and I don't even know if this is one of my... I mean, this is a fav one of my favorite games. It's just, these are games that if, like, I would always be down to play no matter what. I think at the end of the year, I'll kind of do a definitive, like, here are my top ten favorite games as of whatever. Um, but we'll see. Uh, next up is going to be Great Western Trail. This game is <laughs> thematically i have no kind of desire to be a cowboy none of that appeals to me but deck building and it does deck building really fun because you're trying to you have cows you're trying to deliver and you're just moving across this board and you've got these cows and they're worth a bunch of points and money and it's just deck building and then you've got this you're moving this guy around this board and you're doing actions and it's very um I don't know. I just, this is the game that when I started playing it, I was like, I understand why it's rated so high. I think this and the original version are both in the top 100 on BGG. This is the second edition is like aesthetically more pleasing. And Argentina is really great as well. Um, this game is made better by its expansion. Argentina is fine as it is. If they made expansion, I wouldn't say no to it. But I, it's fine. It's mechanically diverse enough from this. It makes them worth owning both. And then New Zealand's coming out in the next few months so this was like the game when i played it, i'm like i understand why it's like top 15 on bgg or whatever um i can't remember this edition of it's 34th but i think the original great western trail it's 15th yeah so totally understand why it's on it i just think when it clicked i'm like i understand um but this is great and then finally the next one i want to highlight is viscounts of the west kingdom i pretty much love anything that Garfield puts out. Um, the West Kingdom trilogy is a lot of fun. Viscounts is my favorite though. It was the first of the three that I got, but it's got deck building. I love deck building as a mechanic, but deck building in a very, very different way. On Sunday, there'll be a playthrough for it. Like I said earlier, I actually posted it yesterday, but you'll see it on Sunday. Awesome game. And D'Amico's artwork is great, or D'Amico, I don't know how to say that, but his artwork's always really pleasing. But pretty much anything that these guys put out, I like. Um, I've got... I want to do playthroughs of Architects and Paladins, so we'll have the whole trilogy. I've got South the uh, Wayfarers of the South Tigris of here. Um, Scholars should be coming out later this fall. Uh, and then even uh, I've got a playthrough of Raiders of Scythia coming out in a couple weeks. 
I'm playing through Legacy of You, which is a solo only campaign game that has some deck building elements. I'm halfway through that campaign. Like I've got a couple more. I've got at least three more plays out of it. Once I play it and I win or lose the campaign, I want to do a full run through on the channel of the whole entire campaign. So we'll be doing that sometime within the next year, or half year before the end of the year. Uh, Circadian's First Light. It's a very cool dice uh, placement game. So yeah, these guys to me don't really do any wrong. They've got some other games coming out that I'm really excited about. So. Um, but Viscounts is my favorite game of theirs, probably. I would say probably Wayfarers is next. I love dice. So, uh, But yeah, the, today's vlog is a little longer than um, what we'll see out of these kind of going forward. But I kind of just wanted to, to talk about what was going on and everything and all that stuff. So um, I just want to thank you guys for watching all the content and uh, continually engaging. And, and um, yeah, I appreciate it so much. I really do. Thank you guys. I'll catch you guys next one. Bye bye. How do I turn my computer off? Still didn't do it.